Hello friends, welcome back to Statistician Hub. Have you wondered how will you measure the relationship between two variables? Or how will you predict the values based on the given data points? Today's video is all about this. Today we are going to learn simple linear and non-linear regression in R. I am Joy and let's get started. In this video, we are going to discuss what is regression, types of regression, simple linear regression, simple nonlinear regression, and also demonstrate simple linear regression and simple nonlinear regression in R. Now, let's establish what regression analysis is. Regression is a mathematical measure of the average relationship between two or more variables in terms of the original units of the data. That is, it is a powerful statistical method which is examine the relationship between one dependent variable or one or more independent variable. There are mainly two types of regression. First one is linear regression and the another one is nonlinear regression. Let's see what is simple linear regression. Simple linear regression involves one independent variable to predict the dependent variable that is simple linear regression is, is a statistical method that help us to understand the relation between two continuous variables. Our goal is to create a linear model that predicts the values of one variable based on the values of the another. This is the equation of simple linear regression where y represent the dependent variable and x represent the independent variable and a is the intercept term and b is the slope of the line let's move to the sim simple nonlinear regression Simple nonlinear regression involves the relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable which is not linear. It can take various forms such as exponential, logarithmic or polynomial relationship. These are the equation of exponential, logarithmic and polynomial relationship. Now, let's go to the R and see how to calculate linear regression and non-linear regression in R. For computing simple linear regression, first we have to import our data set. For importing data set, we write a command read.csv and run it. Next, in this data set, we have two variables named as y and x, where x represents the study hours and y represents the number of marks. Now it's time to create our model. For creating the model, we use lm function and we are going to predict y based on x. Now we will use a summary function to get snapshot of our regression analysis. This is the summary of our regression analysis. Now 
the intercept is 42.20 suggesting that x is 0 y is estimated to be 42.20 the slope for x is 5.9636 which means that for each one unit increase in x y is estimated to increase by approximately 5.9636 the p value for both intercept and x are low which suggests that that both are significant statistically significant the r square value of 0.87 indicates that the model explains about 88.7% of the variance in y now we are moved to nonlinear regression for computing nonlinear regression first we need to input our data set like the simple linear regression we use read.csv command for importing data set in this data set we have two variables x and y where x represent the time and y represent the population growth in this example we want to see how population growth depends on the time these are now we need to write our model the here we use exponential model and run it now for computing nonlinear regression we use a package called minpack.lm to install minpack.lm we write install.packages and minpack.lm after installation we write library dot min pack lm and run it now for model for non linear function we write model using the nls function <coughs> <coughs> now we need to create our non linear model for using nls function first we write model formula which we have already written here next we input our data set and, and now the most important thing start equal to list a equal to 1 and b equal to 2 these are the initial parameters value we have uh, given here now algorithm is equal to pot which means here we using pot algorithm for optimizing the here we have used pot algorithm for optimize optimization process next we run we uh, write here control because for controlling the parameters for the optimization process now we write summary of the model to to see how to see the regression results these are the regression uh, results here the, these are the estimates of uh, a and b and these are the corresponding p values here we can see that the p values are uh, less than 0.01 and the residual standard error is very low which means that the model is good fitted in the data set this is the end for today if you like this video this is the end of this video if you enjoy this video please like comment and subscribe the statistician sub for more statistical insight thank you